Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Boundary. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. We have the Nine of Cups coming out. We'll see if it comes out during your reading. What other, let's see. What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? Please, Spirit, what messages and guidance? We start off your reading with the Ten of Pentacles. So money, definitely family money. This could be about your foundation, your security, building something that's going to be long lasting and enduring. Also, um, the work is coming to completion. Um, tens being the completion, the fulfillment of a cycle. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. The next card we have is the Ten of Wands. So we're definitely seeing the end of a cycle, the end of a burden. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. Definitely putting burdens down. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other... And then we have the Knight of Wands. Some of you may be moving, relocating, traveling. This is also Knight of Wands. is in and out energy. It's also a very determined energy. And it speaks about having, I'm, I'm hearing gusto, having the gusto to make changes in your life. And we see the Knight of Wands charging directly towards the tens, which is you're, you're overdue for these changes. Some of you have been wanting to put down burdens, wanting to, I'm hearing some of you have wanted to rest for a while. And when I say rest, it's coming through these cycles to have a new beginning. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages? Thank you. Then we have the two of wands. So we're seeing a choice on the precipice of making a decision. I'm hearing a different decision for yourself. So this next chapter will start off differently. I'm hearing what other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. Two more messages. Then here we have Pisces page of cups, putting yourself out there. This could be a romantic message coming in, a emotional message. This could also be an apology, putting yourself out there to be judged, maybe even applying for new jobs, auditioning for some of you. And then the seven of pentacles, wanting to plant new seeds, wanting to really have a harvest, wanting to have rewards for the efforts that you are investing. And let's go ahead and get clarification. Um, some of you may be waiting to, like if you have been applying for jobs, you're wanting to move out of one, one job, putting that burden down and make some type of change. Some of you may even work in travel jobs or remote jobs, jobs that include or include some type of movement and you're having a choice to apply for new opportunities, but you're waiting. Things do not seem to be coming forward and um, coming to fruition as well as you had hoped. So there might be waiting um, to hear back, waiting to get an offer, um, waiting for the right opportunity to come through. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ten of Pentacles, please? I'm also hearing this could be, you, you know, you figuring out what it is you want exactly. So we have the Justice with the Ten of Pentacles. This can speak to compensation. Hold on one second, guys. My The new light I just got broke. So now I'm having to ad lib here. So here we're having the Ten of Pentacles with the Justice. So this for some of you, this is compensation. This can be a contract or an award coming to you. There's div divine or just contractual financial settlement. I'm hearing also for some of you, the Justice card is Libra energy. Um, during Libra season, which I think is uh, down the road just a wee bit, um, there's going to be some type of financial change for you. What is this Ten of Wands, please? And we have the Page of Wands. So we're seeing walking away. If we see the Ten of Wands transmuted into the Ace of Wands, you're putting down the burden and walking away from it. And we can see in the Page of Wands definitely walking away from whatever burden that is, whether it's a job, a person, a foundation, you're definitely going to be walking away from something 
and embarking on something new. The Knight of Wands shows the movement. What is this movement and the change? What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces, please? What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So as we were saying, this is change. This is taking action. The Knight of Pentacles represents a very grounded, practical change. It also is slow moving energy, but it can also represent a job or career change as well. So for some of you, this is definitely going to be a job or career change that's going to be taking place. And what is this Two of Swords for Pisces? What is this Two of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Two of Wands? What is this Two of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do we need to know here? So we have quite a few things. Another night coming out, Knight of Cups, an emotional choice. I'm hearing drunk on love, drunk on life. So this is... For some of you, you may decide to seclude yourself and just go be about your own business and withdraw your affections, withdraw your energy from other situations. Then we have the Hermit. Hermit is Virgo energy. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Something needs to be let go of or you need to let go of somebody. somebody I'm also feeling somebody doesn't want to let go of you. So this, I'm getting three different messages off these cards. So it could be that in three different areas of your life, you're going to have decisions. From romantic perspective, you could have a Virgo around you. Hermit is Virgo energy, who's really wanting to come forward. But it seems as though there's some type of impasse that is not enabling them to get to you or approach you. Um, you're guarded and you're content they're trying to shine a light onto you but look at here they're holding onto a snake so i feel that there's some type of snake energy involved no no offense to snakes we're not haterating on snakes or anything but um just metaphorically spirit spiritually your guides are informing you about something having to do with um the emotional aspect of this Virgo or somebody, somebody who um, is trying to, they might even be trying to tell you something, um, but sp spiritually, spirit, spiritually spirit <laughs> is advising for you to let go of this situation or this person. Um, and if you do not, you will be forced to let go. There will be an intervention. I'm also getting, for some of you, this is going to be an emotional change that takes place after you have assimilated the lessons of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. You're going to have an internal catalyst, an internal change where you're learning a lesson and saying, no, it's time for me definitely to have an internal change, an emotional change I'm going to be letting go and releasing um, something I had been holding on to. So that's the decision that we see forthcoming um, that will be up to you to make. Um, and as a result of that, we see this page of cups of you putting yourself out there for something new. What is this page of cups for Pisces, please? What is this page of cups? For? Thank you. For this page of cups, we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. You could have a Taurus around you or as you release one situation, somebody... A new organization or a person that has Taurus in their chart or a new something new will come to which you will want to commit yourself whether that is a person a new job a new organization a new belief structure so we're seeing as you release one thing making the decision to release you're putting yourself out there making yourself available for something new and something new is going to come in what is coming in it is that Hierophant. Let's clarify the Hierophant. Spirit, what do we need to know about this Hierophant for Pisces, please? What is this Hierophant for Pisces, please? So it could, it, again, we're, we're seeing that it could be an organization applying to new organizations for jobs. It could be you putting yourself in a new commitment. It could be you interacting with a Taurus. Let's just see. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is about your status, your income the queen of wands so this is you leveling up so whatever this is is going to enable you to have a much improved position what is the seven of pentacles please and if this is another person we see that they look upon you fondly they see you as the pre-empress they find you very very attractive independent of gender they find you very attractive and are wanting to 
I, I'm hearing build, the build with you. The Hierophant is a very solid, stable, enduring energy that would want to build with you. Um, I'm hearing take a chance on Pisces. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Pentacles? What is this? Thank you. For the Seven of Pentacles, we are getting the Eight of Wands. So we see an energetic shift. We see communication coming in. I feel here this is going to be something that will give you the opportunity to move forward and build and grow and have something new. Let's get clarification for this Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. What is this Eight of Wands? Somebody may even be advancing towards you with... Um, an expression of their feelings and saying that they would like to invest with you long term. What is this eight of wands? Thank you. Wow. Look at this, guys. We have the eight of wands again. So it's definitely, an, but no bueno. <laughs> um, Pisces is not really interested. Pi look at all the cups that Pisces has had in your life. And you're just like, I just don't need your cup. You know, and here's, that's why we're seeing here in the night of Cups, you're content to be on your own. You're content to do your own thing. You don't need anyone coming in offering you a cup. You, you're you good. For some of you, that's going to take form in the in way of you working on entrepreneurial ventures, making career and job changes, so you're not dependent upon an organization to be your sole income. For others of you, this is about emotionally not being dependent, which it's not necessarily healthy to be dependent upon other people for emotions. But here saying, you know, I, I've, I've made it this far on my own. I'm going to continue to move forward on my own. I, I don't need your cup of love. Um, so we see energetically that somebody may be communicating, offering you something, but there's a lack of interest on your behalf. You'll definitely be having some type of an assessment about it too, if you even allow yourself to entertain the idea of whatever this is that's coming in. And again, um, as we were describing, it could be a number of things. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be a, um, a new business pursue or it could be your own belief structures you know that your your paradigms are being challenged because you're coming out of a place that you have been in a while these old cycles these old paradigms and now you're having new ways of thinking that are shifting you into something new so you're no longer going to allow other people's energy to intrude or impede upon the new things that you're going to be building in your life spirit one angel answers for pisces for this reading please one angel answers so i i am getting to repeat um no longer allowing people to impede upon your energy so for some of you maybe just one of you that might be fairly relevant um, of a message for you spirit one angel answers for pisces for this reading please one angel answers thank you so much we have two coming out the first one being no you're going to be telling somebody no you have a choice coming up pisces and you're definitely going to be telling somebody no um it's it's a whole it's a full hard stop and then choose a new direction i'm, I'm hearing deuces be get out of wow i'm hearing the energy of get out of my face um and that's what with the four of cups you're going to be making a decision to not allow, no, choose a new direction, get away from me. You're not interested. So Pisces is not interested in, in some type of offer or person or opportunity. And But the reason why is because you've already built, you've already carried burdens. And what is coming in would, in fact, put you in a place, <clears throat> pardon me, puts you in a place where you've already been. You do not want to revisit old paths. You do not want to revisit old energies. So what we're seeing here is you recognizing the truth for what it is. You being guided by your spirit guides with the lantern carrying the star, shining the truth on the situations from the culmination of your experiences. So you're seeing things for exactly what they are. So when something comes to you and it seems bright and shiny and new, you see the truth of it. And that is why you're saying, no, go away. Spirit, one, one fortune cookie oracle for Pisces for this reading. 
one fortune cookie oracle for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. One fortune cookie oracle for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. And here we have commitment. Remember how we were saying with the Hierophant, this could be about commitment. Somebody could want a renewed commitment or want you to commit to something. So be very prudent and be very mindful about what you may be committing to. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So maybe the first thing that comes isn't going to be for you, but maybe something later is going to come. We see you exiting a cycle, making some changes, making some movement and choices that are going to lead you to something new. Now that co commitment may be that you're, leaving the, you're saying no to a commitment you're currently in and you're choosing a new direction and you're going to commit yourself to something entirely different. So this will be unique to each of you how this unfolds, but this is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.